This is a very good physique for a nearly 53 year old. This guy looks absolutely sick. He has a deep ab cuts. He has a little nice little uh, separation between the 3D deltoid and the So guys, Derek, more police, more Today we're going to be talking about David Guetta. 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 Probably Guetta. I don't fucking know. This guy is a DJ I'm sure you have heard of at one point or another in your life. This guy has, uh, throughout my teen years and into my 20s, I've been hearing this guy's uh, songs for a fucking minute now. And um, naturally, if anyone <laughs> posts a physique that looks mildly saucy in any capacity, I get tagged in it at this point, which is uh, pretty cool to be honest and actually kind of funny. And I laugh when the shit gets sent to me because it's just kind of like, you know, feeding me the content at this point. And, um, you know, naturally when people see this guy's physique in his 50s, you know, the red flags are fucking flying. So this guy is 52 years old. He's going to be turning 53 in less than two months. Like this guy is getting up there. And like you can, you just see even what the average 20, mid 20s year old looks like relative to this guy and let's just see the most recent video update he just posted walking out of the pool caption oh hello there didn't see you looking winky face with a tongue out at the same time which is actually a lot more awkward than you would think for such a commonly used emoji who the fuck ever does that no <laughs> but anyway this is what the video looks like This looks like a fucking like National Geographic video or something. You're seeing like a crocodile like sneak out of the water, getting ready to like catch its prey or some shit, just like slowly emerging out of the water. You see the fucking the Ogopogo sighting for the first time. This guy's just it's like a low res like potato quality camera. You're almost like not even not even believing that you're fucking seeing this with your own eyes. You've just like captured a fucking prehistoric creature on camera emerging from fucking under the water. But anyways, this is a very good physique for a nearly 53 year old. This guy looks absolutely sick. He has a deep ab cuts. He has a little nice little uh, separation between the 3D deltoid and the uh, fucking bicep and tricep here. Um, and he's just looking, he's just coming out with a smirk on his face. He just knows what's up. He's like, oh, you're videotaping me? Who the fuck would have, this is such a surprise to me. Like who would have, you videotaping? Well, I guess, you know, go ahead, you know? I didn't ask you to, but you might as well cause you're fucking there, you know? So uh, naturally, you know, obviously this is a posed shot and uh, just acting like it was an accident, which is fine. This guy looks fucking good. And I would, if I was 53 years old or 52 and I looked like this, I'd probably be doing the same fucking thing. So that's what his physique looks like now. So obviously naturally to assess, is this guy natural or not? You would look at his, Historically, what does this guy's physique look like? This guy has been in the spotlight for a long time. So you would think, you know, you'd probably have want, like want to be in shape for the majority of your career, seeing as you are constantly uh, in music videos and getting your picture taken all the time and stuff. You'd want to uh, look as good as possible. Any incentive is there to juice for the fucking duration of your career, probably. So, you know, I dug back into some of his old pics. He has more physique shots being taken nowadays, which is, uh, Notable, because obviously the more jacked you get, the more physique shots you're going to take. And here he is here, almost looking like fucking Ryan Gosling from the left. He's got, uh, you know, he's not the most shredded guy, but he's shredded enough that you see ab cuts. You see uh, this delt tie-in is like almost oddly 3D to the point where it makes me like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, he just has sick 3D delt genetics like, uh, like yours truly, you never know. To me, it almost looked like odd though, like the way some of the insertions were placed, like this level of body fat on the body, maybe it's just some visceral fat buildup from his age, but like typically you would not see this deep of ab cuts on this like body composition. I don't know, it was just kind of like an odd uh, distribution to me. Don't get me wrong, he looks fucking amazing, but some people were mentioning uh, like, uh, in the comments that tagged me, they're like, do you think this guy used silicone implants? And then it sort of got my mind, the wheels turning in my head. And I was like, I don't fucking think so. But I mean, you know, just some of the, uh, the distribution and the fat looks a bit like, uh, I don't know, odd. I don't know fucking shit about implants though, to be honest. So I'm going to say it's probably not, but you never know. Like in the celebrity world, um, you know, I guess crazier shit has happened. Chicks get breast implants all the time. And I've heard of dudes, uh, getting, you know, like chest implants, 
um, belt in play and stuff like that. And the way this left delt kind of like hung off the arm just looked kind of like suspect. But I mean, I think he probably just has good delt genetics is probably the likely... I don't really know because I'm not really I'm not an expert to comment on that. You probably need a plastic surgeon to comment on that. So I would say no. But anyways, let's keep going here. See if he has more uh, physique shots throughout his uh, years. Here he is on a boat, um, looking lean. Oh, you can see actually the here is the uh, uh, the fucking serratus just peeled in here. I don't know how much uh, you know like shading there is with editing or anything because this is a photo and not a video so you never know how doctored this image is but if it is an accurate representation of his physique then this guy is you know pretty fucking lean he like you don't get these cuts in here when you don't have a very low percentage of body fat like even objectively to a physique um a guy in the fitness industry like this is relatively difficult to maintain year round and very definitely very difficult to maintain year round if you're natural so that is uh you know a bit <laughs> even bigger red flag than just like his body composition in general it's also how much muscle he holds while simultaneously staying lean all the time so um like at his age range so here's a older shot back in uh well, it was only a year old actually this is uh 2019 and you know you see the ab cuts here this like this looks more natural to me like he has the delt tie-in is not so like hanging off the bone like in that other one so it's more uh, indicative of what's going on, in my opinion. Like, you never know what's edited and what's not. So when people make a comment like, oh, like, what do you, what do you think about this shot? If it's on a video, it's kind of hard to tell. So that's why, you know, looking back at the first shot with the fucking National Geographic shot is more indicative of what's going on, I think. And this is, this is where he looks his best, bar none. Like, the ab cuts are deep. The delt looks like an actual delt, not like anything suspect, I would say, except for the fact that it may be soft up. Um, the rest of them... Solid, solid physique. Going back further, you know, you can go back into his Instagram. There's a lot of posts and it seems like less and less uh, shirtless shots the further you go back. And presumably it's because his physique um, wasn't as good. Like here he is in uh, 2018. Definitely not as cranked as he is now. Um, and if you want to go really far back, you can see kind of his progression over the years. This guy's never been, you know, jacked. Here he is, uh, May 26, 2018. He's not in bad shape. But you have to remember this guy's like, what, like 50 or 51 at this point 50 years old here he looks great dude like fit and what 50 year old is in this shape like not very many and if you go further back here is at uh this is another shot actually in 2018 deeper into 2018 though where he presumably leaned down a bit um or just had better lighting circumstances but here is you can see kind of a a bit of a blurry or serratus but it's in you can see the deep ab cuts and it's funny because this article was actually uh translated with uh google translate as opposed to uh, it was Portuguese initially. <laughs> and uh, the translation came to David Guetta impresses with a very dry belly at 51. So not uh, not abs, but uh, David Guetta impresses with a very dry belly at 51. David Guetta shocked his Instagram followers on Wednesday first because he reveals that he <laughs> that he made 51. as <laughs> It's like an accomplishment to not fucking die by 51. Second, because of his very healed body. Celebrating, like... I'm assuming this is because of the translation, not because this is the actual content, but it's just kind of funny to read through this. Celebrating my 51st birthday today, and I'm very grateful. Happy for what I've achieved with my incredible fans, blah, blah, blah. Probably, this is probably going to be good grammar because it's a quote, I'm assuming. Wait, 51 years old? My God, exclaimed a fan. I want to have that body when I reach 51, said another. Better than many 20s, said a third. I can't believe your age, said one more. David Guetta has two children, Tim, 14, and G11, from his marriage to Kathy Guetta. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, anyway, he's got a very fucking dry belly here, as you can see in 2018. Um, and if you go further back to, well, this is 2018 too, some heavy downlighting, and he says, uh, this is translated as well, he says, David Guetta, 50 years old, anything else you need to say, question mark? Not really, I don't know, fuck, we're gonna talk some more though. We're gonna say some more shit. Uh, March 31st, 2014, going way, well, not way back, but further back. So, just Jared always comes in clutch with these uh, paparazzi photos in the middle of people's vacations that we can refer to. Our friends over at Just Jared scored these great pics of freshly separated DJ David Guetta chilling with a mystery woman on Miami Beach. So here he is. Um, and as you can see, not as impressive as the National Geographic Ogopogo scene. So, presumably you have to keep in mind he's in his late 40s here and his physique is just getting better the more recent we get let's go back even further this is 2013 music video i'm pretty sure this is a 2011 song 
I could be wrong. I don't know uh, when it uh, came out or whatever. I was pretty sure it was older than this. But anyways, in this scene, you can see him uh, in a tattoo parlor or whatever, where he's like tattooing some dude or drawing on him with a pen while he's getting tattooed. And you can see the ab cuts here, but he's obviously, you know, leaning up to flex to make them pop more. Um, it's a bit blurrier potentially than what he looks like now. He may have a bit less muscle, but you know, similar body composition. He's not way off the mark. He's got perfect downlighting here though. And he probably peaked intentionally for this role. He's not getting just Jared bombarding him in the middle of a fucking vacation where he has an all you can eat pass to eat whatever you want at an all inclusive. So here he is probably peaked and uh, in his best condition, which is closer to what we see nowadays. If you go really far back though, when he's a young gun, I don't know how young he is, but when he's much younger, he was never a jack guy. He wasn't, you know, like a traditional mesomorph. He was never, uh, if you can even, <laughs> you know, chalk those up to actual things. His body type was never, uh, like he has a bit of a bicep vein here, but he was never like in crazy shape as a uh, young gun. So the fact that his physique has only progressed and gotten significantly better over the years, even as he gets into his 40s and then into his 50s and his physique is literally peaking at 50, almost 53 years old, emerging from the water like a glorious fucking crocodile. To me, I think it's a no brainer. To me, this guy's not natty. You know, I could be wrong. What are the chances that he's actually natty? Low, potentially there is some, I guess, but I would say at least TRT, probably a generous TRT dose from one of the, uh, um, you know, generous uh, telemedicine clinics we have in the USA that are, uh, will often give out cookie cutter protocols of, you know, 200, even 250 to 300 milligrams to guys who um, don't wanna, don't even give a shit and just wanna be like blasting a mini cycle year round. So I'm not saying that's what he's doing. This could easily be achievable by just, achievable by just TRT, but I'm just saying the, uh, you know, the celebrity um, TRT is a very common approach now to maintain and improve upon your physique as you get into older age these guys are leveraging these clinics more and more and um you know i see it firsthand personally because i have uh i own one of these things so i see the people who come through it and i'll tell you right now like you'd be surprised well actually maybe you wouldn't be at this point because i make content about it all the time but there are uh you know a lot of people on the trt bandwagon at this point and um it's becoming more and more prevalent throughout the years more and more accepted um and honestly, it's uh, it's not a bad thing. Like, I feel like I'm coming across as there's like, uh, you know, like a bad, the only like issue I have with it is guys that are just like half-hazardly taking cookie cutter protocols, especially with doctors who don't know what they're talking about that are like half-hazardly prescribing aromatase inhibitors and stuff like that. But like, you know, when there's a medical need or you would otherwise benefit from some significant improvement to your quality of life because you have um, a uh, suboptimal testosterone level, obviously medical intervention is uh, warranted at that point in my opinion, even if it's not a clinical deficiency on a piece of paper which is an arbitrary number at the end of the day and does not represent if you are symptomatic or asymptomatic. So hopefully that didn't just go all over your head. But if you want to learn more about uh, TRT or you're interested in it, you can just check out uh, my clinic in the video description below. And it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. So you don't even need to leave the door except to get your bloods drawn. Um, you talk to the doctor over Skype, FaceTime, Zoom, it's all convenient. And uh, you can save uh, some money with the coupon code if you mention it during your uh, initial consult. But yeah. Anyways, I think he's not natty. I think he's at least on TRT, probably a generous dose. You never know. But that is just uh, my guess seeing as, you know, typically a guy who sees a uh, significant progress and they're just getting into this the first time, they're probably going to want to push the envelope a bit and just based on his progression throughout his 40s and the fact that he's peaking now and at 52 leads me to believe he was probably, you know, natural in his 30s probably you know maybe experimented here or there in his 40s or something and probably start started hopping on the trt bandwagon and now into his 50s his physique is getting better than it was when he was young and just like starting to come into the eye of the public so to me flagship trt user could be wrong but that's what my best guess is so maybe some hgh in there too for the um you know quote unquote anti-aging properties and uh yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i think this one is a pretty easy guess personally. So I don't know. I could be wrong though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, click the notification bell. If you want to get notified whenever I post, follow me on Instagram at more place underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Apple podcasts. If you want to listen on audio instead of burn through your data, watching the videos on your phone. Um, and if you want to support the channel, check out anything I'm associated with video description below and subscribe to the newsletter. If you want to get my deep dives into bodybuilding, pharmacology and risk management and health and longevity and whatnot, how to stay safe when you're incorporating PEDs into your life, how to, uh, approach a HRT regimen intelligently and not fuck yourself up. Um, cardiovascular health 
um, proactive uh, strategies to uh, maintain high levels of health while going about this stuff. Um, it's all only going to get sent to you if you sign up to the mailing list, first link description below. And uh, obviously if you're subscribed to the channel. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.